So I just left Mini Motors New York City today and I got to check out some really cool e-scooters that I had never gotten a chance to ride yet by the name of Dualtron. And I know that everybody knows what these are because they're the coolest, probably most high-end e-scooters on the market. Super full featured, very fast, very long range, and I had a really good time. Here's a couple highlights about what I got to experience today. Okay, before we do anything else, let's check out all of the models that they offer at the Mini Motors NYC shop. We can start with, I guess, uh, Dotron Thunder, which okay. is over there. Um, I personally had taken it uh, like a range test wise. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of difficult because it was a little slow, but I was going about 15 to no more than 20 miles an hour. And I've gotten it up to 73 miles on one charge. I went all the way up to like, Westchester and then you know come back down so basically all up in that Yonkers area okay uh, now I also have pushed it at full speed and at full speed I've gotten it uh, about 30 30 to 35 miles on one charge it's very fun I've gotten it up to about 54 miles an hour obviously I'm a little lighter than most so it's more possible for me besides that we have uh, the ultra it's about the same thing Spec wise, everything is the same, it's just minor changes here and there. Step down below that is the Dotron 3. The Dotron 3 is actually pretty damn good. It's surprising me. Uh, gotten it up to about 42 miles an hour. Uh, on rides, it, Dotrons 3 keep up with Dotron Thunders and Ultras the whole way. They get the same range, you know, we basically all charge at the same time. Uh, speed, most people don't really ride that fast, so going 42, 43 miles an hour is relatively simple, you know, normal on a Dotron 3. It could definitely keep up. Uh, the Dotron Eagle, which is right here now, that is a new uh, newcomer into the line. It's actually one of the most scooters I'm surprised about. So it's like the Spider, but consider it, consider it more like all the issues with the Spider or all the complaints that people have made about the Spider have been solved somewhat in this. It's still relatively new, so I can't say for sure, obviously, but it's a beast, you know, uh, all the hollow parts that they made to, you know, shed weight, like in the arms. Uh, they corrected it, it's solid, bigger tires, uh, strong motor. Yeah. It's just beautiful. <laughs> that one's, that one's uh, I feel that's gonna be a really good seller. At the price that it is now, it's about uh, 2200. It's, it's definitely, one of those that I feel people, anybody interested in a spider will most likely jump up into, which is kind of jump down because it's cheaper than a spider, but this, it just rides better, more reliable, and tires are bigger. I don't know, I just, I can't say enough about the Eagle. It just caught me off guard. It's a big surprise about that one. Uh, Dualtron 2 Limited is a classic. It's always going to be good. It has, it's like that middle terrain. Uh, same thing, about 45 miles an hour. Great range. Uh, on a regular cruise, we could definitely see about 40 miles. Obviously, it depends on speed and hills, rider's weight. You know, there's a lot of variables to consider. But this is all going off, you know, my size. MX, strong, very strong. 52 volts, but don't let the 52 volts fool you. It's still, you know, it packs a punch and it moves really good. if there's people who don't worry much about, you know, don't think about flats, there's solid tire versions like the Raptor 2 that we have right here. When you don't have as much, uh, I guess, maintenance skills or you don't really know how to swap a tire, or you travel a lot but you don't want to have the hassle of possibly getting a flat, this is definitely the way to go in, in that situation. Um, there's also a compact, which is a little bigger, small in size, but the tire's a little bigger. Uh, it's really good. The compact is still really, really fast. I know that Dualtron is the big hit here, but Mini Motors NYC also carries the other Mini Motors models too, like the Speedways. Speedway Ledger. This is a this is a surprise. This little guy right here is definitely going to be a top seller for anyone who I call it the you know how there's Lime and Birds those brands. I call this the the Lime and Bird killer because it's basically in the same range as weight. It's about forty pounds. Uh, but it can go up to 30 miles an hour and range about 30, you know? 
you know, give or take five or ten here, here, there, depending on weight. Obviously, those variables. But this right here is it's for a thousand ninety. There's not much you can say about that, you know what I mean? It's, it's very, very impressive. We'll see. A lot of people probably started on the Mini 4 Pro. That is the common one that I believe everybody has, uh, whenever they get the, the bug to try a scooter, that's usually what they start off with. It's, it's, you know, I give it about four months before they want to upgrade after that, but it's definitely a good entryway that, you know, gets the mind going as to what you think you want and where you plan on going. Number one, I guess I would start off with the deck size. You know, you, even though I don't have the biggest of feet, but the, the deck, you know, uh, sometimes I'm in a certain posture and sometimes I ride, you know, 60 miles plus on, on, you know, on a single ride. We have group rides where we just go, we'll start off in Manhattan, end up in Queens, then we'll go into Randall's Island and we just, we just go wherever we can. So, you know, when, as your feet get a little fatigued or tiring, I'm not the guy I want to sit down. So it's good to have a big deck where I can just, you know, sh shift my posture around or stretch or, you know, it's all that movement. It, it's, you know, it's underestimated, but it's a really great feature to have. Uh, besides that, I love the tubeless tires. I caught a flat on my way to uh, Rockaway Beach, and within 10 minutes, I was already back riding again. So I love the tubeless tires. Um, the suspension, you know, the rubber on this is... It's just amazing. The more you use it, the more it, it just absorb, it gets more cushion, more plush. Uh, I'm not very heavy, so I, I wanted something that wasn't stiff. In, in the beginning, it was a little stiff, but after like 100 to 200 miles of riding, it just got butter soft. And so they kind of break in with you a little break, bit? Yes, they break in with use. You know, the more you get bounced on it, and then my little... <laughs> You know, 140 pounds that I am, I managed to now get a full bounce. So whenever I take a pothole accidentally, because I try to avoid all of them, but you can't avoid all of them. But whenever I do take one, it's more of just the tires. They just do that instead of your whole body, you know, like a trampoline shooting off. It's the power and the torque. It, it's a lot of times people come in here and they want to like, uh, they're not sure if the scooter's right, so I'll just let them test ride it. And they do a test ride, and the moment they come around the block, you already see them with a the big smile. They understand the torque. Because it's easy when you tell somebody something, but once they feel it for themselves, that's when, I guess, it, it, it just clicks in. They're all, I don't know. This is something about Dutrons, you know, the way they make their battery is it's, what, it's what's really good. They uh, it costs a lot for their batteries, but I always say you get what you pay for. So if you really want to go your range, and you really want to, like, not worry too much about battery, you get your, you know, they're relatively as close as possible as you can think of to advertise in, uh, in range. So if you, you know, you see how some people say, oh, you can go 60, 75 miles, and then you get it yourself and it doesn't do any of that, or nowhere near close, or you end up falling short, these are actually pretty close, you know, to it. Uh, I tested it because I wanted to know myself, on my phone. The brakes. The original nut brakes that are come hydraulics, you know, so it's it's a big step up from drum brakes, from mechanical wiring, even like hybrids. It's really great, but uh, I wanted something more than that, so I switched to Magura. Honestly, I'm using an MT7 Pros now, and I don't want to say it's a full night and day difference, but it's definitely an upgrade over the original hydraulic nuts, nut brakes, and even those are really good. Like it. It took me a whole year and a half before I even decided to upgrade because the originals were just that good. So I really appreciate that the Thunder came with the hydraulic nut brakes. What else? Uh, the lights, you know, everybody, they just come with lights now that it's, it's very, you know, it just draws the eyes. You know, a little, little color here and there, you know, depending on the model, you know, they all, some of them have the mood lights in the bottom, like the, the higher end, like, the Thunders and the Dualtron 3, uh, but it's, it's very good even for side views if you're riding at night, you know, sometimes it's extra safety to be seen from the side. It's really, really great. It's a, something that a lot of people don't think of or think that they need until it's there. And then you'll be like, oh, I can't believe I, was, I didn't have anything like that. Mini Motors has two dealers in the United States, and but I think that the biggest benefit of having one here in New York City is that these guys are actually willing to service 
even scooters that they don't sell, which I have to be honest, almost nobody else in New York City is willing to even look at a scooter they didn't sell. Or if you brought a scooter into something like a bike shop or whatever else, they wouldn't touch it. But these guys at Mini Motors New York City seem to be really trying to create a great e-scooter community, especially in an area where there's so many riders. Uh, before this place opened up, even I myself, I was I used to walk into like electric bike shops or even regular bike shops, and the moment I walk in, they point at the door and say, we can't touch that for liability reasons. Uh, buying from here, you meet me, you meet the, the owner, you know, my partner, and you just, you know, you, you, you get a, a communication with us, you know how we are, and we service, you know, we, everything that comes in, even if it's not something we sell, we just don't carry the parts, but we service generally all scooters. So you bring us the parts and we'll install, we'll troubleshoot, we'll do whatever we can to help you get back on the road, because that's what it's all about at the end. We have few over here, and as you can see, they're not all thunders. We have zero, we have uh, some thunders, and not all of them are just like servicing because they had an accident. Some just come here for upgrades, you know, like, like this guy brought in two spiders and he wanted Maguras on them. So we're putting Maguras on his spider. Uh, what else? Uh, some did have accidents and they don't know. They'll come in and they'll say, oh, my scooter's doing, tick, 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 you know, they'll make a weird sound that nobody knows. And I'll be like, oh, it's fine. You know, I'll just troubleshoot it with them and I'll explain to them uh, what it is. Uh, what is the best way to solve the issue and then once they give me the green light and they approve of everything then I get to work and I'll start fixing them. So it really doesn't matter, even show me. They bring them in, you know, flat tires and I, I, I change them. You know, everything. We, we try to get everybody in and out happy because like I said, there's no place that anyone really wants to touch anything electric. So we were glad, I guess, to provide that opportunity to all the people so they don't have to ship it back to their original manufacturer. One of the cool takeaways from Mini Motors NYC is that they also offer a lot of customization options. They carry a ton of really cool parts that you can get your hands on to help you customize and create maybe your ultimate Dualtron scooter. So I just got to ride an Eagle Pro, which I guess is more or less mid-range for Dualtron. Um, Javier at the shop was kind of telling me that it was a little bit of a replacement for the Spider, if I remember that correctly. And uh, it had a lot of upgrades uh, that kind of came from rider feedback after people had bought or ridden the Spider. I know that the one that I was riding was a little bit limited, but even in mode 2, the acceleration basically knocked me right off of my ass. It was a really fun ride. Uh, one thing that caught me off guard with this is how quick the acceleration was on this Eagle Pro. When Javier gave it to me, he said, do you want me to give it to you like they set it up at the factory or do you want me to give it to you like I like to set it up for people who are first time riders? And I said, oh no, don't worry about that. Let me just have it exactly as it is coming out of the factory. I probably should have done this a little bit differently. As you can see here on this takeoff, it's really quick. In fact, it's enough to kind of knock you off your balance. I would tell you if you were going to set this up for yourself actually to, uh, to change the acceleration speed. One really interesting thing about riding this is that, I don't know if you've paid attention, but the deck heights on the Dualtrons are a lot higher than many other e-scooters on the market. In fact, it was a little interesting trying to get used to riding. With me being so tall, having the extra deck height meant that I felt like I was towering over everybody else. In fact, it was a really comfortable ride and actually I felt like the center of gravity was very good, my balance was very good, which is kind of aided a little bit by the width and the length of the deck also. I had a little bit more room to move around. The suspension on these are really key to what makes a great ride on the Dualtrons, also kind of paired with the tire size and also the tire width. Although you're getting a really comfortable ride with a Dualtron, the tire width kind of helps you feel like you can grip the road and hug the road just a little bit better. With that feeling in mind, I feel like I'm getting a better ride overall. Although the center of gravity is very good with these, you can still feel that they're a little bit of a heavier scooter, but overall that feeling really turns into more of a feeling of stability when you're riding. You can tell that it's an incredibly quick scooter. Maybe a little bit more than I need. But the benefit of having something like the super long range that a lot of the Dualtrons have could benefit almost every rider, especially those of us who have a really long commute 
or just like to take a super long weekend stroll. Javier said, you hit a couple of potholes, didn't you? And I said, well, I did, but I didn't feel them. He was uh, commenting to me earlier about how the suspension on these kind of wears in with you over time. And I have to say, I rode a brand new one, and if it rides that good new and then wears in and gets better, that's got to be a really good ride. So in case you were wondering about Javier's t-shirt through all this, this says Team ECS. Team ECS is Team East Coast Scooters, and it's a gathering of riders that like to get together and do a bunch of long rides and hangs. If you want to find more out about this, you should check out their YouTube stuff, and they're also active on Reddit, I saw. I highly recommend that if you're in the New York City area that you go and visit Mini Motors New York City. They're actually in Hoboken, New Jersey, which is just a very fast ferry ride, inexpensive too, across the Hudson River. And I'm sure they'll be happy to help you find your ultimate Dualtron or Speedway. Want more content just like this? Subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications.